Hey Casher, Derek here, Break Six Clan. Today we're gonna to be starting a very fun gadget cache that requires reed switches. Let's get started. All right, so I got a really quick question for you. Do you know what Tanagrams are? Have you ever played the game Tanagrams? If so, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Love to hear, hear about it. All right, so what Tanagrams are, if you don't know, are these different shaped puzzle pieces that you have to put them into a certain shape um, to be able to complete the game. So on the box itself, it has like a crane, it has an apple, it has a person. And I was like, you know, how cool would it be to build a cache that when you got the tanagrams or those shapes into the correct shape, that it would release the latch. And you know, I was like, how could I create that? And by seeing some videos and by on, being on Gadget Talk, uh, we started playing with some different read switches and then I started talking to Chad and he actually kind of made something like that but I wanted to show you how you can make one. So we're going to start it off by using these different read switches but also before we even get to that we got to build the frame and where the game puzzle pieces are going to sit into with all the wiring with the read switches. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be setting that up and I will show you how to get that started. So now I've got the frame cut out and I've put a nice groove inside the wood so that I can put what I'm going to be using, my plexi, for the base so where the tanagram is actually going to be put onto. And so now what I need to do is take the plexi and cut it down to size to fit in there. And I'm going to be using my table saw and I'm going to be using a high tooth blade to be able to make a nice clean cut on this plexi and I'm using that 180 tooth blade. So now. Let's go ahead and get this cut and get it into place. All right, so now I've got the plexi inside the frame and I've put some vinyl on it as well so you don't see through there. Now the next step that I need to do is I'm going to actually start making the tanagram itself. So I'm using this uh, quarter inch plywood and I'm going to cut it out to the size that's going to fit inside this frame. So now that's cut out and it is a really tight fit into this frame and that's what I really wanted because I'm not done with this piece of wood yet. One, I have to figure out how many different shapes I'm going to have in here and then second, I still gotta cut it. So when I cut that, it's gonna loosen it up just a little bit. So that's what I gotta do next, is I gotta figure out the kind of the pattern that I want to put onto this wood so that you have to solve it to be able to get into this. All right, so now that pattern is set up and I did six different sections that I wanted to use. Now the next step is, is I need to transfer that pattern into this frame. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use some parchment paper and I'm going to just kind of trace out the lines on the parchment paper itself and then I'll put a hole where I want those reed switches to go in the parchment paper so that I can mark it exactly where I want it to go into the frame itself. All right, so now it's marked onto the plexi where I want the reed switches to go. Now all I have to do is put the reed switches on and wire it all together. All right, so now I have the reed switches glued into place where I wanted them. And I've also put a tape over the top of it just to kind of secure it just also a little bit more. Now they also put a hole in the bottom of the frame so I can run my wire up through there. And then the next thing I need to do is just connect each wire to each of the terminals of the reed switch itself. Now you're just gonna use like one wire. So you can use your negative or your positive wire. It really doesn't matter. You just need to connect the same wire all the way through so it connects that circuit. So now let's get it wired.
All right, so now this is wired up, daisy chain from one reed switch to the next, and the wires come out of the bottom. Now, what I need to do before I cut the tanagram out is I need to take my template that I drew before on the parchment paper, place it over top, and in the same places that I put the reed switches on the plexiglass, I need to put a magnet on each one of these places. And let me explain to why I need to do that. Now, the way a reed switch works, and these are an always open, which means there's two pieces of metal inside there that do not connect. But when you put a magnet to it, it connects it and connects that circuit. And that's how a reed switch works. So you have to get all these pieces into the right place for all those connections to make to connect the circuit all the way through. So now I need to mark on the tanagram where those uh, magnets are gonna go, and then I'm gonna cut it apart. So let's get that done. All right, so now I've got the pieces cut out and the magnets are on there, so I can go ahead and solve this tanagram. But before I do, um, I've connected a nine volt battery to give it power and an LED, so I know when I solve it that it's completed that circuit. So now, let's go ahead and solve it. All right, the LED's on and it's solved, so we know the reed switches made the connection with the magnets. So everything's good, the circuit is complete. So all we have to do now is put it into cash, but that's gonna be next week. And also next week, we're gonna be putting this into a birdhouse and I'm gonna be attaching the latch on there as well. So that's gonna be next week. But I've had some people ask me, what type of tools am I using and can I give them links? Well, I'm gonna leave those links down in the description below so you can check those out. The LED, the magnets, and the reed switches are all down there as well, so check that out. And those are affiliate links, so anything that you do, if you click on it, it will help the channel so we can continue doing these builds. All right, let me know what's in the comments what you thought of this build. Do you like this? Do you want to continue doing stuff like this? Just let me know, so leave a comment down below. All right, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these stories just right over here and find the story behind the cache.